Do you have outbursts that you can't control? Like you, <clears throat> whatever, or you say something, or you do something, or you slam something down, or you slam a door. Do you have outbursts and you can't control them? We've got answers for you. Sometimes we just, it's, it's almost like somebody else takes us over. It's not a lack of self-mastery because we're all working really good on self-mastery and how to control ourselves and to be sweeter and kinder. That's what our, you know, our main project and we're working hard on it. But we have these outbursts and here's the anatomy of an outburst. We have an outburst. And let's say it's irrational. Let's say let's say it's, we have an outburst because um, we had saved the last piece of cheesecake and we told everybody in the house, do not eat the cheesecake. And then our husband ate the cheesecake. I didn't think you'd mind, <laughs> right? And we have an outburst. This is a stupid example, but whatever. Uh, so you 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 know you say, I can't believe you did that. Whatever. And here's the anatomy of it. You have your outburst. After we have an outburst, or maybe while we're having an outburst, there's a feeling, a deep emotion in us of, well, I shouldn't be doing this. This is really, you know, ugh, I wish I had more self-control. I wish I was more, had more self-mastery. I wish I can control myself better. Um, and we know deep down that it wasn't really a justified. And even if it was justified, we should have behaved, behaved better. And it, there's this, all these ick motions. So here, that's, the sec, the, the, that's the first thing that happens. The very second thing happens right behind that is self-justification, where we say, well, he deserved it. And we blow up in our mind. We make a mountain out of a molehill or we just say, you know, instead of saying, oh, he ate the cheesecake and he doesn't care about me, we say, he never cares about me. He always does things when he knows, he's, he makes up these things and, see, you know, he, he, he knows that that's going to upset me, but he doesn't listen to me. I had told him five times not to eat the cheesecake. Uh, uh, you know, all, whatever we can do to pile it on to make his, and bring up history and things 10 years ago, to pile it on to make his a uh, mistake or his, um, what's a word, like a uh, on purpose mm -hmm. thing, you know, what was that called, like a volitional, like he he's trying to hurt us, you know, we make it look really, really bad in order to justify our less than stellar behavior. It's a normal, natural thing. You shouldn't feel bad that you do this. It's not great that we do this, but you should know that you do it. And as you're doing it, say, oh, I'm just justifying my, my behavior was bad. What he did really, that one little thing, limit it, get, throw all the other things he's ever done with you to the side. There's one little thing. Okay. He didn't think about, he didn't think about you. He didn't, he, he wanted the cheesecake more than he wanted to make you happy. It's a little painful. It's not the end of the world. And then the last thing is you go and you apologize. Some people, when they were little, their parents made them apologize for everything, and they really got good at it. Some people, their parents made them apologize, and they got worse at it. You know, so it, it, everyone has their different um, history and um, chronology of apologizing. If you and if we're all on a scale, there's great apologizers and there's not, you know, lousy apologizers. Know where you are. If you're great at apologizing, terrific. If you're really bad at it, get better. Everyone can get better in the uh, apologizing thing. So if you know. You have a real hard time apologizing, something definitely to work on, but I'm going to tell it to you quick. Right now, the most important thing, rip it off like a Band-Aid. You can have endless arguments about do it slow and take your time. For apologizing, the secret to apologizing is do it fast. Fast, fast, fast. Get it over with. You will see as you develop that muscle of being more and more apologizing, then you, your your uh, um, uh, strength in yourself of ability to con reconnect quickly with people, with your husband, most importantly, uh, will, will in it go up exponentially. So you want to do it quick. You want to apologize quickly. And don't just say, oh, I'm sorry I said that. Say, I'm sorry. I flew off the handle. I had a kind of a rough day. What you did wasn't horrible. I'm still annoyed. I'm still annoyed. You know, you could kind of joke a little. I'm still annoyed you ate the cheesecake. I hope you're going to go out right now and buy me some more cheesecake. But, you know, however you want to handle it. But I'm just saying apologize quickly for your bad behavior. It takes, diffuses all of the thing. It doesn't make a third word. World War for three weeks of being upset about something that's pretty trite. We all have outbursts. The, the secret is to apologize quickly and to make them go lesser and lesser over time. That's it. Lay a rich timer for the ladies' talk show. Ladies don't don't forget. forget to subscribe and to, and to like. like us. Thank you very much. We'll see you next time.